Statement. Ah. Statement? Oh, yes, Master. Pain is really the only reliable mean. Statement. Very well, Master. But if you wish to be brutal and vicious about it, know that I am trained for such things. Query. Why would one of the Jedi you're looking for come here? An adequate job, pilot. Perhaps here there is some trace of those who pursue us. I sense that we may be truly alone on the surface. There are signs of life on the surface. Beasts by the dozen. So don't worry, you won't be quite as lonesome as she makes out. You might want to keep your, uh, lightsaber sharp. Or do whatever you do in these situations. Although, I think that the pilot's mechanical devices are probably accurate. If there are Sith here, their numbers are few and they are hidden. It seems quiet. Just the wind. But deep beneath the surface, you can feel the pain of what took place here. This place merely tolerates sentience walking upon it. It is pleased to have been left alone. There is great power here for those with the ambition to use it. There is great power in this place, for those who can hear its call. There is much that would draw a Jedi to this place. The resting grounds of the ancient and more recently departed Sith contain many teachings believed lost. The most likely place to find our lost Jedi is the ruins of the old academy. After Malak and his army were defeated, instead of restoring order to Korriban, Revan suddenly departed, leaving both her destination and reasons for leaving a mystery. It took a year or two for the Republic to send a force here to deal with any Sith that may have remained. They found Korriban much as we have, barren and lifeless. It was assumed that the remnants of the Sith turned on each other, vying for what little power remained. The Republic found evidence that several Sith Lords escaped Korriban, fleeing to remote sections of the galaxy. As lifeless as it seems, the dark side is very strong here. The Sith Lords would not ignore such a powerful place. There is much that can be learned, even here. You should go to the ruins of the old Academy. If there are any traces here of Sith, that is where they would be. If you walk Korriban's surface, you shall walk it without me. I cannot. This place is strong with the dark side. It is difficult to center myself here. Korriban holds few secrets from me, but much that you should learn. I will remain here and meditate. Our link remains. I shall contact you and provide guidance when needed. The Academy is on the other side of this valley. 
Be careful. Dark energy fills these ruins, and even the fallen Sith live still. The structures you see around you are the plundered tombs of the ancient Sith Lords. Each tomb was once infused with the history and heritage of the old Sith Empire, containing great mysteries and powerful relics of the Force. However, even the many traps could not long hold back the curious, the fools, and the weak. And so these tombs fell, spilling their secrets into the hands of those unable to comprehend or preserve them. Thank you. 
The broken corpses before you are all that remain of the Sith on Korriban. I doubt there is much to be gained from looting these bodies. It would be best to leave them be. Fool! You've disturbed the spirits of this place, and they have sent their guardians. Hisses are semi-intelligent beasts, corrupted and strengthened by prolonged exposure to the dark side. As creatures of the Force, they have a limited ability to mask their presence. 
Hisses are drawn to suffering and carnage. They must have fed on all the corpses left over from the war here on Korriban. The angry phantoms of the Sith, too weak to influence the sentient, have taken these hisses as thralls to their will. This way leads to the tomb of Ajanta Paul, a fierce Sith Lord. Ajanta's dark spectre lived on through the centuries until Revan entered the Sith Lord's tomb in search of the blade. Revan sent Ajanta Paul's spirit into oblivion and claimed the blade for herself. Unknown, some have suggested that the blade led Revan to her demise as it did Ajanta Paul. That is only speculation, however. Where Revan wanders now is knowledge that only Revan holds. A weakness is revealed. can just barely see the Sith archaeologists' efforts to uncover relics of the ancients. The new Sith Order sought to progress quickly by finding objects of power. I can only imagine what was lost forever due to the carelessness of these excavators. Now the excavation has been almost completely undone by five years of wind and sand. Communications, recitation, and bring about the termination of hostilities.
my life is yours. She'll make this one see. <clears throat> A weakness is revealed. There is great power and dark energy within this cave. I would advise you to finish your explorations within the academy before venturing into the cave. This one will fall. This door was left open on purpose. Someone is expecting us. These Takada were once trained to serve the Sith here. You can expect more than these beasts within the Academy. Be prepared. She is here. Find her.
A dark Jedi left her impression here. This door has been sealed intentionally.
Together then! I have been poisoned.
Did you come here for answers? There are none. The call of Korriban is strong, but it is the call of the dead. I have studied you, immersed myself in you. I know the paths you walked in exile. I know your teacher. I know the fires that raged upon the ducks and moon while the Republic died around you. You know war. You know battle. And I know of Malachor. You know what it means to be broken. The one who travels with you will destroy you, as she did me. I can end it before it begins. I know her, as an apprentice knows their master, and as a master knows an apprentice. I want her to die, and see all that she has built cast down, all that she holds dear, in shards, at her feet. I know her as an apprentice knows their master. She clings to hope that perhaps she can train one as great as her first. She is a fool who escaped death once. She will not do so again. You are a wretched thing. A thing of weakness and fear. You are her apprentice in name only. I am the master. And that is why you will die. This one is mine. You have left me an opening. Sion. He cannot be defeated. He is not a beast of flesh and blood. This is not a battle that can be won. Flee. There will be another time, but it is not now, not here, while Korriban runs through him. Do not harm her. I command it. She has earned this. She and I will meet again. You have left me an opening!
I shall make this one see. This battle is... Join! You have left me an opening! You have left me an open. 
opening. You have left me an opening. You have left me an opening. Through the cave is just ahead. I believe you are strong enough to explore the tomb ahead. This tomb has not been plundered. Its mysteries may still be intact, but so might its traps. Take great caution. I sense a great presence within this tomb. Master, it calls to you. It's a wall of the Dark Force. I am not strong enough to go through. You will have to face the challenges of this tomb alone. Are you ready? Do not heed the words of the Jedi Council. The Republic will fall if we do not act now. Already the Mandalorians have taken three systems along the rim. They will only grow more powerful with time. Come stand with me. We will use our might to help the Republic in its time of need. Join Revan and I. Together we will battle this menace. The Jedi Council is wise, but will take too long to deal with this threat. We must act now to stop the Mandalorians. I have heard of you. Your masters speak well of you, of your skills in battle. Join us. But the war is real. The suffering is real. The death toll the Mandalorians inflict are all very real. The Mandalorians must be stopped. And if the war ends with their defeat, then anything else is a small price to pay. The Council seems content to watch, to debate, while entire systems fall to the Mandalorians. If we don't act now, there may be no Republic army to assist in the future. I sense you will join us. What are your reasons? If you cannot examine your life and your choices, then you are weaker than I thought. It was within our power to end the war, and the Council chose to debate behind closed doors while planets burned. This is pointless, then. You stand alone in this Jedi. Soon you will see things my way. Thank you. 
Tom says we've lost another heavy droid transport. How can we break through the Mandalorian lines without support? The path is mined and the place is crawling with enemies. I know we've got our orders to press forward, but we're at quarter strength. We can't, General. It's impossible. We need to retreat. We know, General. 
But we just don't have enough men to accomplish our objective, no matter how important. We already lost half the men just getting to the path. They've got the rest of the company pinned down by the crash site. You can't possibly ask the troops to go forward. If you ask us to charge, will it make a difference? Will our sacrifice mean something? We... we will press forward if you ask it. The path is mined. If you ask us to charge, there will be losses, General. Thank you, General. Thank you. Now we fight!
You are to be commended for making it this far. You've revisited the dark moments of your past and now you must face the present. Your confusion is natural. The others and I will help you understand. Get away from her! She's a dark Jedi. Atten, I've had enough of your snide contempt. I will protect myself from this foul-mouthed ruffian. Hey, what's the commotion here? Stay out of this, Beodor. This is a personal dispute between Atten and myself. You're threatening Atten with a lightsaber, and I'm supposed to just stay out of it? No. The three of you would challenge me? You sorely underestimate the power of the Force. Think again, Kreia. Your dark influence will end. Your friends are all arrayed against me. Will you stand for this? I will be honest with you. I have fallen to the dark side. Does this change your decision? In this trial, I am impressed. The dangers you faced in this tomb were real, but these images of the past serve to prepare you for your future. Surely you have felt what awaits. Events are shaping themselves about you, seeking to draw you into their center. Take care not to give in to vanity and arrogance, this breeds complacency and stagnation, as exhibited by the Jedi Council. Their prolonged inaction led inevitably to their downfall. The galaxy will bend itself only to those of strength and conviction. You may not yet understand what you learned here. That wisdom will come in the future. You overestimate the power of the tomb. Any change you feel is coming from within yourself. Instinctually, you know your true path. Trust in your feelings. They will lead you in conquering the many challenges that the future holds for you. Search the room you are in. 
You should be able to unlock a passage that leads outside the tomb. Oops. I wish to show you something. Not with words, but by feeling it. With the Force, close your eyes. Feel the universe. Strip away the life on board the ship. Someone is creating an echo, a resonance in the Force. Someone is consuming life, using it to feed their hunger. Each dying world creates an echo in the Force. And as the echoes build, becomes a noise, deafening, destructive. It touches all life in ways that are invisible to see. The darkness, the despair created from such events breeds and grows. Someone is bringing the dark side to the galaxy through destruction. A critical point is approaching, and the wound must be healed. Nice ship you have here. Where did you get it? Ah, so it's like that. I guess it would be better if less questions were asked about it then. Now, was there something else you needed? 
The Republic is a stagnant beast that had been killing its people for years before the wars began. Were it not for Revan's strength, the Republic would already be dead. Only Revan was worthy of our respect. We swept through the Outer Rim without any opposition until Revan assumed command of the Republic forces. Only then did the battle turn. But as you know, only a handful of Jedi fought, while the others cowered in their halls, afraid to meet us head on. I'm sure there were good reasons. I'm not accusing you of being a coward. You commanded the Republic fleet that destroyed ours. You were a worthy opponent. Now is there something else you needed? I thought that the Force would be enough of a weapon for a Jedi like yourself. That's a good position for a warrior to take. Here you go. But now is there something... I am Mandalore, leader of the Mandalorians. I will help you fight your battles and plan your strategy. But I will not be your errand boy. Find some other lackey to do your bidding. Now is there something else you needed? So you 
fought against the Mandalorians in the war. I was part of the war effort, yes. I worked as a technician, though. But you fought on the front lines. To a Mandalorian, there is honor in that. I could do without your Mandalorian honor. I saw the results of your honor. The absolute destruction your warriors brought. And look at them now. Mandalorians are little better than mercenary thugs. And what's honor to someone like that? All they care about are credits. If I were you, I'd pick your words more carefully. You fought for no cause other than to spread suffering and pain to the people you conquered. Maybe that's what it looked like to you, but that isn't why we fought. We fought for honor and glory in the heat of battle. You did nothing but murder innocents. The Republic took us too lightly. We wanted to face the full force of their army. We had to goad them to fight. That's exactly what I'm talking about. If you ask me, you Mandalorians just got what you deserved at Malakor. Defeat is part of a warrior's life. We will recover, stronger than before. Doesn't it even bother you that your people were almost destroyed? Or do lives have no meaning to you? People die in war. Well, I'm glad to have you guarding my back. Fine by me.
received my message then. A man named Kavar wanted to get a hold of you urgently. He said that the Queen had arranged safe passage to Onderon for you, but I don't know how good their offer is anymore. He wouldn't tell me anything, just that he wanted to see you. He said it was urgent, but that doesn't matter now. This morning, General Vaklu met with the Council of Lords and declared that the Queen was guilty of treason. He'll be made regent if Talia and her royal guard are defeated. The military is divided on who to support. Civil war has fallen on Isis. I doubt that Queen Talia and her advisor will survive until nightfall. The balance of forces seem to favor Queen Talia. The royal palace is heavily fortified and defensible, and most of the soldiers are loyal to her. But Vaklu has new allies, Sith soldiers and their masters. The war has also driven the caged beasts in the streets mad. Braylor and I both concur. She doesn't stand a chance. You underestimate the Force, Mandalorian. I sense that we may still get to Master Kavar in time. I sense there is something stirring on the moon itself. Tell me, have your senses picked up anything from Duxon? Yes. Yes, we have. How? We picked up some transmissions from nearby in the jungle. Zuka's satellite relay has also picked up several shuttle launches with old Sith transmitter IDs. Some sort of staging base, perhaps. The Sith forces must be stopped. Otherwise, the Mandalorian is right. Master Kavar and Queen Talia won't survive this day. Dividing our forces at a time like this is foolhardy. And this is why a common soldier will never triumph against a Jedi. Your military tactics are nothing compared to the Force. It is essential and inevitable that we face both enemies at the same time. You must choose who will lead the expedition through the jungle to find our enemies and defeat them. I will serve as you wish. You should send two others to go with the leader. Who else will accompany the expedition? So be it. And who else? If you say so. Now are you certain of your choices? All right, let's try this again. Who sh- I will- You sh- And- It's your decision. Now are you set? Mandalorian warriors will go with you to find the enemy camp. Just let me know when you want to head out. If you need supplies, talk with Kex. After you get into the jungle, you might not have another opportunity to stock up. Let me know if you want to go now. Yes? Is yes? Our number is 12. Our training holds us. The gal Are you ready? As you wish. Finally, we're close to our objective. I sent the rest of my men to secure the trail behind us. My troops will keep the path to the Mandalorian camp clear. Ahead lies the enemy. I can follow you a little bit further. But then I will set up command and control for my unit in the field. So lead on. Something you need to do? I am ready. Thank you. 
is mine. I am ready. Thank <laughs> you. 
my life is yours. Intruders, kill them! This is my first day on Duxon. My predecessor displeased our masters and was dealt with. The fool let Canox through the perimeter. The Sith don't tolerate any failure. I'm the fifth captain to command this base camp. The camp sits in the shadow of a tomb. My subordinates say that the body of an ancient warlord named Freedon Nerd lies inside. We don't know why we're here. We sit and make sure that no beasts come into our camp, and especially that they don't reach the tomb itself. A bleak assignment. Signing off. This jungle feels similar to Korriban before it fell after the war. Everyone is on edge. Executions for infractions are commonplace here. Fifty percent more than my previous command. There's a bloodthirstiness to the jungle. The beasts here continually assault our mind perimeter. We've had to replace the minefields four times so far. We received more equipment and more men today. The equipment went straight inside the tomb. As usual, I have no idea what it contained. We're expecting more Sith to arrive any day. They want us to capture one of the beasts for them. No explanation. There never is. Signing off. Coded messages from Orbit and from Onderon. Some sort of conflict is brewing. I think we have a ship in Orbit. We're on full battle alert against what they won't say. A Sith Master said something about a disturbance in the Force. Well... What does that even mean? How do I prepare for that? <sighs> From his tone, the threat is serious. We've put a double shift on monitoring the aerial sensor. The only thing that could worry our masters so much has to be a drop ship invasion from the Onderon military. We will be prepared. The Sith said soon we'll have reinforcements. When I asked for details, he said it was a surprise. I hate the ones with a sense of humor. Sith jokes are rarely pleasant. Signing off. You 
have left me an opening! You have left me an opening! You have left me an opening! Let us wait to see.
catch up with you. You've made impressive progress. The Sith's camp lies in ruins. I told Kelborn of your progress. The rest of your squad is already en route to Isis. Also, Kex checked our sources for any information about this place. Kex believes that this is the tomb of Freedon Nad. We knew it was somewhere on this moon. We had no idea how close it was to our camp. Uh, some sort of fallen Jedi. He conquered Onderon long ago and became their king. The royal line is directly descended from him. That part of Onderon history the citizens try to leave buried and forgotten. Our priority here wasn't exploration. The mission was salvage in force, and to do so covertly, we have successfully pursued those objectives. Zuka didn't have our long-range sensors operational either. If this camp hadn't been sending messages, we may never have found it. Freedon Nad was a dark Jedi. The stories say he was far worse than Revan and Malak ever were. This place is tainted, and the Sith presence here makes the danger great. I can taste the power of the dark side here. Freedonad must have been truly great to leave such an impact. The echoes of his life are still here. I feel secrets can be learned here. I am returning outside. My attention is required to keep the path to our camp clear. The time for practice is over. There are intruders in the tomb and they cannot be allowed to reach our master. The ritual must not be interrupted. I don't need to mention the price of failure. Men, follow me. This entire area is highly attuned to the dark side. I've heard of locations like this, but never seen one. The Sith must have come here because of how far the Force has been tainted. I recommend we avoid that area entirely. This entire air, this
My life is yours. I'm listening. How may I serve? I'm listening. The honor is mine. <laughs> 